Boltworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boltworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. I love duct tape, especially when it's wrapped all the way around the frame. That's just, that's just the making of a good day. It had to be duct tape. Of course it had to be duct tape. Why not? I've, uh, off camera, I went through and I finished doing all that uh, this morning. So it, all the, the stuff is off now. And we're at the point now where we can start putting this glass or resealing this glass back into the frame. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, right now we need to make sure that the glass doesn't get dirty, you know, greasy, you know, from like oil from your skin or just anything. So at this point, I'm going to be putting on, uh, you know, putting on some gloves. And then I'm going to be pulling the glass out and then wiping down the, the mating surfaces uh, on the frame and then on the bottom side of this glass with rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. Uh, now on this particular frame, there is a very shallow lip uh, on this side right here. And what we're gonna be doing is laying our silicone in inside this channel. So when we're, when we're laying the silicone in, we need to make sure that we're laying down a heavy enough bead that it extends above this little lip right here. If we don't, then the glass is just, or the, the poly is just going to be setting on top of the frame and not actually down uh, and, and compressing the silicone, which is what we want. Now it's time to set the glass in place. Now there is something you really want to pay attention to, and that is to make sure that you're putting the glass in the right way. So you're not putting it in upside down or reversed. Because uh, these hatches have handles. And you need to make sure that you're <laughs> putting them in the right way. So, uh, let's see, this is correct. And then right now, as carefully as I can. I'm going to try and set this in place so that I have an even reveal or an even spacing all the way around because there is a gap that runs between the, the, the poly and the frame. And you want to try and keep that gap as even as possible just because it looks, it looks much better that way. Well, it's the following day and all the silicone we did or we, we laid up yesterday, set the glass and that's all set up and, and good and ready to go. So now before, just to make life easier, before we start coming in and filling all the, I guess the gap around the perimeter, now would be a really good time to tape it all off. Uh,
Now when I'm filling this, what I want to see is I want to see excess silicone kind of beating up behind where I'm, where I'm laying it in. You can see how it's kind of beating up like that? That's exactly what I want to see because then I know that this gap is completely getting filled. Now that I got this down, now it's time to smooth it over. And it's you're gonna get you're gonna get sticky. Now this first pass, I'm gonna go around uh, a few different times. But this first pass, all I'm really doing is, you know, maybe using light to medium pressure on my finger. I want to keep going round and round until I'm just able to see the edges of the tape uh, through this caulking because then that tells me that I've got this stuff smoothed down enough so that when I pull the tape I shouldn't, you know, shouldn't being the keyword, uh, have any little stringers that get pulled away with the, uh, with the tape. Well, I've gotten, finally, everything all cleaned up. I've got the, the glasses in, the silicone is cured, and I've gotten the, the, the boat side of this process all cleaned up as well. So now we're ready to start putting the hatch back down and, and having that all sealed up waterproof. Okay, Papa. I have a little helper with me today that I am reluctantly uh, letting come up here and help me, but she promised that she was going to stay right here in the middle, didn't you? Yeah, okay. I'm going to go ahead and I want to get as much of this frame taped off as possible because when we put this down with the, the new bedding compound, we want to see some of the excess, you know, kind of being forced out around the, around the perimeter. And the more that we can tape off, the less cleanup we're going to have to do. So Now, since this is a hatch that's already been mounted, I can, I can see where all the mounting holes are. Now, when I'm laying the bedding compound down, I'm going to be running a bead right over top of all these holes, all the way around. Right now, other than for the sake of having a lot of excess to clean up, more is better than not enough. If you have too much, your hatch is going to be sealed, but you're just going to have a ton of cleaning to do. If you don't have enough, then all this work was a waste of time. Okay, now you want to make sure you put the hatch in the right way. This is a forward opening hatch, so this would be the right way. Now the reason that when we're putting the compound down, we want to put the compound right over all of the screw holes is because when we put the hatch down now, a little bit of the compound comes up through each of these holes. Now when we put the mounting screws back in, that's going, to screw, that's going to seal the head of the screw onto the frame. If you don't have this, then you, you would need to put a little bit of compound around each little head of these screws. Going about it this way, you've already taken care of that process. Okay, now at this point, 
it is just a matter of, of putting the screws in place and tightening it down. Not tight. You don't necessarily have to crank these things down. You want to have them snug, but you don't have to put a death grip on, on, uh, on your drill or your screwdriver and really crank them home. They just need to be snug. I've got the clutch set on number one, which two fingers I can hold it. Uh, and that's about the right, right amount of uh, torque. But when you're tightening everything down, this, this little bit of excess, this is exactly what you want to see. If you're seeing this excess come out like this, then you know that it's sealed full, you know, all the way around the frame. If you tighten everything down and you don't see any, then that is going to be a place where it's going to leak. That is going to wrap up this uh, this portion of the of the video. And as uh, as always, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, feel free to leave them down below in the uh, in the, the comment section, or you can head over to my website, bulwarkstoday.com, and leave a uh, leave a comment there. So as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos, and don't forget, give a thumbs up if you if you like this, if you like the content, uh, share it with your friends, and. Yeah, all that other happy stuff. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this up, call it a night, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. This has been a Boatworks Today Projection.